Welcome to the first robotics competition and this year's game, DNA Dash. Two alliances of three nanobots each race to repair DNA helices and deliver aminos to prepare protein for transport. Nanobots score points by placing nucleotides on the DNA helices and shooting aminos into ribosomes that are on the side of the field opposite their alliance station. Points can also be gained by climbing the poles, called the binding sites. Each alliance has one ribosome on the opposite side of the field, one DNA helix at the center line, and one shared DNA helix at the middle of the field. Each helix's upper racks will be randomized at the beginning of each match. However, the bottom racks will remain the same throughout every game. Aminos are available in six stacks of five along the perimeter of the field. Besides the amino stacks, nanobots may also acquire additional nucleotides and aminos from the two loading bays at their alliance station. Nanobots start each match touching their alliance wall and may preload up to five aminos or three nucleotides. During the first 15 seconds of the match, nanobots will run autonomously, crossing the auto line, feeding aminos into ribosomes, and matching nucleotides to illuminated colors on the helices will grant points to robots. During the next two minutes and 15 seconds of the game, Teams remotely control their nanobots and continue to score aminos into ribosomes, hang nucleotides on the racks, and complete DNA helices during qualifying rounds. Completing the shared DNA helix will reward both alliances one ranking point. During the endgame, nanobots will prepare for protein transport by climbing onto binding sites. Each nanobot that successfully climbs or parks will receive points. Should all three nanobots successfully climb, or two nanobots climb and one nanobot parks, protein transport is considered complete. The alliance with the most points by the end of the match wins and repairs the cell. 